Hey everyone, my name is Nick, and in today's video, we're going to add a product tag to an entire collection via the bulk editor, create a promo code announcement on collection pages, and make a nice theme customizer interface to update it. You can see right here, we toggle this, I have this pre-existing settings, and now we have this nice little interface that says, this is not the price if you use this promo code. Let's get started. Now the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to the products page, and we're going to bulk edit a collection to have a certain product tag. Now, there's different ways that we can apply this. We could do it using the collection page, uh, the collection tag on the product, which I've tried in the past, but it doesn't work very well because sometimes the collection is actually not available um, on the product, whereas product tags are available everywhere that the product is. And this might make a little more sense in a moment here when we start editing some code. But in the meantime, I'm gonna come to products and then I'm gonna come to this filter and I'm going to filter by collection, and I'll filter by the New York collection, which only has two, but um, if I check this, we can come here and do add tags, and I'm gonna call this promo eligible, and we're gonna keep note of this name because we're gonna use it uh, in the customizer later on. Okay, now that we have the tags added to these products, let's go to the code, and we are gonna add some custom settings that are going to be available globally in the settings schema file. And if we come here, and I'm going to come right below this first object, and I'm going to paste this. Now the code is available in the description below to my GitHub, and there's also a link to my uh, social profiles and the same video but in blog form. So once I have this added here, I'm going to hit save. and. To talk about it real quick, this is what's gonna show up in the customizer. So it's gonna have um, the ability to add the promo code tag, which we just added to those products. And then we're gonna have the actual um, promo code as well as the percent discount. And uh, we'll see this here in the customizer in just one second. So if we go back and if we now try to customize this theme, we come to theme settings and we can see here is our settings right here. Um, but we can, we can put whatever we want in here, but until we actually use this in the code, nothing's gonna change. So let's navigate back to the code for a second. So if I go back and open up the theme editor, I'm now gonna open up price.liquid and I'm gonna try to find the place where the um, price is being shown right here. So I'm going to copy everything in this div and paste here. Again, see the link in the description for the code on GitHub. Now what's happening here is we are checking first if the product page, if we're on the product page, which I'm not going to show this, um, but you can customize this however you'd like. I want it to just show on the collection pages. And then I have another conditional statement here where we are checking if the settings that we created here are set, and if they, if it's enabled, and then if this product, because it's gonna loop, it's gonna go through every product, and it's gonna check if the product tags contains the product tag we've created to identify the promo eligible products. And then if so, we are applying the discount right here, and a little bit of styling syntax to show a line through the price as well. So if we save this, we should now be able to go to our customizer and add some values. So I'm gonna navigate to the theme settings and I'm going to, I think the tag I used was promo eligible. I'm gonna call it bash 24 and I want a 30% discount and then if I cover over here, I know this is one that's in that collection we added the tag to. So if I toggle this, boom, we should see it change here. And if I save and navigate to the preview, refresh here, and boom, you can see the products that we've added this tag to are successfully showing as we had hoped. This has been a short tutorial where we've done um, bulk editing to the product to a collections, uh, an entire collection to add product tags. 
and we've also added a nice, easy, customizable feature for non-technical merchants to use and change this however they would like. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you next time.